If you're tired of being terrified or scared or angry, uh, unsupported, stop looking at that and start looking at and focusing on who's going to bring you support and uh, some love and caring, some fairness. Who's going to bring that to the to the table? That's the person you should be voting for. You know, whoever you think that is. So, now there seems to be some talk about who's electable, who's going to beat Trump, if that's what you want to have happen. To me, it's not that complicated. Everyone's talking about the polls and the the stats and the whatever. To me, it's just like riding a motorcycle. It's fairly simple. You aim, aim where you want to go. Look where you want to go. Aim your bike where you want to go. Turn your head, head and eyes, where you want to go. Put your attention where you want to go. And that's where you're going to go. So if everyone's always focusing on what's wrong, why things don't work, and not enough thought about, you know, fixing the problems, then you end up with nothing fixed and a lot of complaining. Which is kind of where we're at. If you're tired of being terrified or scared, or angry, uh, unsupported, stop looking at that and start looking at and focusing on who's going to bring you support and uh, some love and caring, some fairness. Who's going to bring that to the, to the table? That's the person you should be voting for. You know, whoever you think that is. Maybe you think that's Bernie Sanders, maybe you think it's somebody else. Um, you know, that's up to you to figure out on your own. One thing I will say is that it, it seems pretty clear that the uh, Democratic Party has had a lot of uh, money invested into it, and I think they like that, you know. So these people, Republicans and Democrats, they, they lose track of why they're there. You know, they all took an oath. Oh, we promised to be good and we care and blah, blah, blah. Defend the Constitution. I'm not sure I've seen a lot of that lately. Because this uh, poor me victim mentality bullshit, it's not fair and all that kind of shit. That's not how things work. It's either the, it's the right or it's wrong. It's the law. It, it, or you're breaking the law or whatever. And that's kind of all there is to it, you know. If it's not against the law, then I guess technically it's okay. But you can still say, you know, morally and ethically, it's not good. The more they, the more people are violating the Constitution and getting away with it and no one cares. And then the next generation says, well, they did it, so we can do it too and all that. Uh... It gets, you know, and one thing compounds the other. If one generation teaches respect for the law and the and the rule of law and, and the Constitution and the American way, you could say, or you know, like our how we do things, and supposedly cherish and care for our own stuff. If if you want to say that is how we do it, we teach the next generation, and then they do it too. But if everyone's just teaching each other how to cheat, how to steal, how to co be corrupt, how to lie, get away with it, and then they wonder why, you know, things get worse and worse and worse, because every generation is a little bit sloppier 
when you're focusing on uh, I don't care and you know what can I get away with as opposed to taking care of the country which is what they were supposedly hired for voted into office for the part of, part of the negativity and the and the victory of evil and all that is that they uh, try to distract you I, I think I think they they focus on distraction get off topic pretty soon you're fighting over you know the color of the sky or something and got nothing to do with what they originally we're talking about and it just wastes time waste energy like I said it's just a distraction Just like on a motorcycle, aim where you want to go. Look where you want to go, target where you want to go, focus on what you want to where you want to go, and then go there.